and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a huge drugstore haul video to celebrate the Look Fantastic friends and family sale that is currently taking place. So if you're interested in seeing a ton of drugstore makeup and swatches, then just keep on watching. This video is kindly sponsored by Look Fantastic in celebration of their friends and family sale that is currently going on. If you guys aren't familiar with Look Fantastic, fantastic. They are an online retailer that sells a ton of drugstore brands, higher end brands, indie brands. They have so much selection for makeup, hair care, body care, skin care, nails, like everything that you would possibly need. It's like a one-stop shop for all the goodies, low end and high end. And they have tons of brands that I don't personally have here access here in Canada because they are a UK based brand. So I ordered a few things from Barry M and I ordered stuff from a nail brand that we don't have here. As I said, this video is in promotion of the friends and family sale. So I will have all of the info in the down bar in the description, but I just wanted to go over it briefly here. So the friends and family sale is a huge sale where they have pretty much every brand discounted on their site for a various discount. All of the brands that I'm sharing today are part of their 20% off, I believe. So the sale is going on from October 15th through till the 23rd. If you are interested in shopping the sale, I have my own personal landing page that you can shop through. So that will be linked in the description below and I might put it in the comments as well. Pin it at the top so that you guys can see it. If you are gonna shop the sale, please do use my landing page and my voucher code. But yeah, let's get into everything that I picked up. I'm so excited to try out all these products. I will do my like beauty non strictly makeup stuff first so that we can get into the makeup after. The first two items that I picked up from the sale are the Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleanser facial wipes with hyaluronic acid. If I use facial wipes, which I'm trying to severely cut back on, I use them for swatches. I use them to clean my makeup desk. I use them for purposes other than just removing my makeup. I'm getting better, but I did pick these up. If I'm going to get facial wipes, these are my absolute favorite ones. I have super dry, super sensitive skin, and these take off makeup amazingly and they don't irritate my skin. So that's the best that I can ask for in a makeup wipe. Backups to have and these should last me a while because I have been cutting back on my usage of wipes. I also decided to pick up a new shampoo and conditioner. I haven't used anything from this brand in a while, but I used to back in university and I really liked their products. So I decided to revisit the brand and try a new line within the brand, I suppose. So this is the OGX shampoo and conditioner and I went for the fade defying color defying line because I do have highlighted hair, although it's fading. Anyway, I wanted a color safe formula and this is also sulfate free. So that's really nice. They smell really good. I like my shampoo and conditioner to smell nice. I like it to linger throughout the day. It just makes a big difference for me. It makes me happy throughout the day and feel clean and fresh. I'm excited to dip into these, try them out. I haven't yet, obviously, but I am excited to give them a go. Next up, I picked up some fake nails. I'm so excited for these. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you haven't watched my recent favorites videos since the beginning of quarantine, essentially, I I have been so into fake press on nails, glue on nails, all of that. I haven't had my nails actually done at a salon since 2019, I want to say. I don't think I've had them done at all in 2020 besides my toes, but my fingernails, I have been just doing press ons and doing them myself. I currently have ones on from Kiss right now, super, super cute. But this is a UK brand that is super, super popular in the nail, fake nail uh, market. So these are the Elegant Touch London Nails. These are in the style Warrior Woman. They come with 24 nails and the glue. I use my own glue typically, but I just thought the style was so cute and they are shaped how I like. I prefer like an almond shape or a stiletto nail shape. I have some longer square ones on right now, which I like, but I don't prefer. So I'm really excited to wear these. As I said, super, super cute holiday nails. So I'm freaking pumped to try these out. Then I picked up two different lashes. So this is the first set of lashes. This is a repurchase for me. I've used these exact ones before and I love them. I've been really 
back into lashes since my lash extensions have fallen out. I just have mascara on today. These are some of my favorite natural more natural lashes. So these are the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies, um, and you get two pairs in here. I love the band on Ardell lashes. I love the Faux Mink. I prefer Faux Mink lashes um, because they just look more natural and real. The hair looks nicer and more fluffy, fluttery. So these are some of my absolute favorites. These are on the more wearable side. The other ones I have are slightly more dramatic, but I think these are super, super pretty. Just really good to have in your collection. These ones go with every single look. You can easily wear these ones on their own as well. The band is super thin and they're just really pretty and wispy. Then the other pair of lashes that I picked up are slightly more dramatic. I think they're so cute though. So these are from the Berry M brand, one of the UK drugstore brands that we don't have here in Canada, but I have purchased products from Berry M in the past and loved them. So I really wanted these lashes when I saw them. So I got them. These lashes appear to have a relatively thick band, but I thought these lashes would be so pretty for like a more dramatic look or a Halloween look or something like that. They're really, really pretty and I'm excited to try them. Next, I picked up a backup of my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. This is my number one longest favorite. I have some that I also enjoy, but I would say this one has consistently been my favorite and I've repurchased it the absolute most over the years. It's super, super nice for applying cream bronzer as well. I've been using it to do that a lot lately and obviously concealer foundation. I just love this sponge. It's such a good one. It cleans so nicely. It's durable. It lasts a long time and it's not super expensive. So Highly, highly recommend the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge if you use anything else, especially if it's more expensive. And then I am super, super excited about this one. So Real Techniques just launched a like companion sponge to go with the Miracle Complexion. This is the Miracle Powder Sponge. It says that it creates a smooth, seamless finish. So this one is a kind of like furry consistency on the outside. I don't even know how to describe it. I've never tried a sponge that looks like this. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I love using my Real Technique sponge to do my under eye powder. I pretty much always do that but then I'm constantly getting powder on it, washing it off, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like to get more life out of my regular Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, it makes sense to have one, a separate one for powder and baking and all of that. I don't bake as much as I used to. I don't do like all under here and all over unless I'm really doing a full glam, but typically I just kind of set under the eyes. So I'm really excited to try this out. It's their newest launch, I believe, and I cannot wait to give it a go. I'll let you guys know how I like it. So from L'Oreal, I picked up the Shake and Glow Spray Illuminating Setting Spray, 24 hour hydration, primes, sets, and refreshes. So this is the one product that I have tried out. You probably can't tell, but I've literally tried it once and I really, really liked it. I love, love a glowy setting spray more than anything else. I've talked about it before. I kind of fell out of my obsession, love with glowy setting sprays, setting sprays in general, and I'm fully back into it. I've been obsessed with a glowy setting spray. I need to set my makeup with one every time. I did today with my Maybelline Glass Skin Spray. Absolutely have been loving that. So I've heard really, really good things about this, especially from um, Make Me Up Missa, Makeup by Missa. I can link her down below because I purchased some other stuff in this haul on recommendation from her. So yeah, I am incredibly excited to try this guy out. I've heard really, really good things and the packaging is super, super cute. From L'Oreal, I also picked up the Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream, Caring Waters and Mineral Pigments SPF 20, and this is in Light 1. So this isn't yet available in Canada. I haven't seen it in Canada at all. Um, I saw it leaked on Trend Mood like months and months ago now, and I really, really wanted to try it but it hasn't come to Canada yet, but it is available and look fantastic. So I had to pick it up. I had to try it. This is the light one, but 
it might be too dark for me. I'll swatch it for you guys and show you. If it doesn't work out, I can give it to my mom because she's like two shades deeper than me. That there is how light one looks. You can definitely blend it in, but even still, you can tell that it's just a little bit too deep for me. I'll probably give this a go once. I blended it out there and it feels really, really nice on the skin. I love the idea of this. I love drugstore, that the drugstore is coming out with like dewy glass skin foundations, CC creams, BB creams something with SPF. I really love that. So I'll give it a go. If it's too dark for me, I'll give it to my mom, but I'm hoping that I'll like the formula and maybe I can make it work with like my correct concealer shade. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm super, super excited about this, especially because I haven't been able to find it in Canada at all. Really excited. I'll update you guys whether I try it, what I think, if it's too dark, etc. at some point. And then I did pick up three more products from the brand Berry M. Again, isn't available in Canada, so I had to try out their stuff. Um, Makeup by Missa, the same channel that I was just referring to, talks about their liners all the time. Their cream liners, eyeliners, I can't think today. Um, so I picked up two in the cream formula and then one of their liquid liners in super, super fun colors. I swatched these the second that my package came in because the shades just look gorgeous and I was very excited. So I'll swatch again here with you guys. So we have the High Vise Eyeliner Glow Stick from Berry M. I think the shade is Glow Stick and this shade is Dangerous because it just says Eyeliner Glow Stick Eyeliner Dangerous. Okay, that's the shade I'm assuming. So the blue is called Glow Stick. Um, I'll link all the exact products down below, obviously. So pigmented, so creamy. I'm honestly so excited to try these on the eye. And then we have the purple in Dangerous. They just swatch exactly how they look in the applicator, in the product here. So I'm freaking excited to try these. I kind of regret not ordering more shades. I forget how many other shades they had, but I'm really, really excited to try these out. And then this is the High Vise line again, but this is a liquid eyeliner and I don't see a shade, but it's the Pastel Pink, which I think is so, so cute. That is the light pink and then the other two liners super super pretty and pigmented very pretty i'm really really excited to try this as like a super bold graphic pastel pink wing super super cute and then lastly i have four products from nyx cosmetics um obviously i can order nyx products here i can get them here but these were just things that i was excited and wanted to try have heard good things about and have never tried so I picked up the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray Long Lasting. Again, the Dewy Setting Sprays, the Glowy Setting Sprays, I've been so into it. I wanna try every single one. I kind of wanna do a roundup on the best ones, especially like all of the drugstore ones, testing them and battling them. Let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. I think that would be really beneficial and interesting. So I have the NYX Dewy Spray. I've never tried this, but I am very excited to. Another product from NYX that I I've heard amazing things about is the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel in Clear. So this is what it sounds like. It is a clear brow gel, super, super big spoolie. This is a way bigger spoolie than most of the brow gels, the clear brow gels that I've tried. Heard really, really good things about over the years and I've never tried it. So I decided to give it a go and you get a really good amount of product in here as well. I also picked up one of the NYX Micro Brow Pencils. This is in taupe, so I could be wrong but I don't think I've ever tried this brow pencil. Um, I have tried a lot of different brow pencils. I've tried a lot from the drugstore, especially. I have a lot of favorites. Tiny, tiny little applicator, a little product in there, and then you have your little spoolie. So it is like the exact same size as the brow is. The packaging honestly looks very similar. So actually, let me swatch the shade for you guys. Typically, I go for taupe in my brows rather than blonde because my hair is a little bit more of a cool tone blonde. That is the shade taupe. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect for me. So typically I just use a smaller brow pencil like this to do my inner corner or like detail on my tail of my brows, but yeah. I'm really excited to try this. The shade looks really good too. So excited about that guy. And then the last product that I have to share with you guys is the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I'm surprised this is the only primer I picked out. It's because I found like holy grail primers. So I'm not as into trying new ones right now. I wanted to try this primer since it's released like so, so many years ago. 
So if you've never seen this, it is a super like dewy tacky primer and I've wanted to try it for so many years. It's such a staple from NYX. People rave about it, but I've just never purchased it for whatever reason. Oh yeah, it feels really nice and tacky. Um, but not too tacky. I don't like that super tacky feeling to be honest just because I have acne prone skin and I feel like it's gonna break me out. So this is like a nice light level of tacky I would say. It smells really nice and it's supposed to make your skin look really really dewy and fresh and healthy. So I've wanted to try it for years. As I said, I think the packaging's really cute too. Um, so I'm Super excited to try it, super excited to have it in my collection. That is everything that I picked up from Look Fantastic. I am so over the moon excited to try all of this new drugstore makeup, new to me. Most of it isn't new at all, but I'm just super excited to play around with new makeup and try it out. I highly encourage you guys to shop the friends and family sale, especially if you are like me and you live in like Canada or the States and you wanna try out some brands that you don't have access to normally, like Berry M and Elegant Touch. I'm super excited to try out those nails. So again, I will have my voucher code on the screen here, and I will also have my landing page shopping link down below. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and like seeing hauls, new makeup, drugstore, all the good stuff. And as always, I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.